while we know Sovereign for their storage solutions and accessories and lately for their RAM modules, this company has also been making camera accessories for a while now, mainly tripods and SD cards. In this review we have the Sovereign TPCF69, a carbon fiber and aluminum tripod with a price tag of, as you guessed it, 169 US dollars. But can it compete with the already established models, especially at this higher than average price point? The Sovereign TP-CF69 tripod is a standard tripod with a ball head pre-installed. It's made from carbon fiber and metal and has a price tag of $169. This tripod is the flagship model of Sovereign, when it comes to tripod at least. It's not only the most expensive model, but also the tallest and the heaviest of them. The biggest advantage of this tripod and its carbon fiber construction is the weight, at around 2.1 kilograms or 4.75 pounds, this is a light tripod even though it has a maximum height of 175 centimeters or 69 inches. We start with the packaging, it's a simple cardboard box and that's about it. Inside the tripod is actually protected by its own carrying case, a standard synthetic cloth carrying case which sports an adjustable strap and multiple tie down points for the tripod or accessories. The TPCF69 has a simple design that has as its centerpiece the carbon fiber pattern present on the three legs. This is a carbon fiber spiral design which is different than the typical woven patterns we see all over the place. It's a nice addition that makes the tripod stand out, especially among the sea of carbon fiber stickers we see everywhere. The tripod has a height of 175 centimeters or 69 inches with all its legs extended and the center column raised to its maximum settings. And that's plenty tall for most if not all users. These are several photos of the tripod overlaid which will help you realize just how tall this tripod is, how tall and how low it can go as well. The head included with the TP-CF69 has a ball head design, it has three control knobs, two for the actual ball head system and one for the rotation mechanism of the base of the tripod head. With the ball control knob loosened, the top part of the head will freely rotate and move around in each direction. With the lower control knob loosened, the entire tripod head can be rotated freely in both directions. Thankfully, this tripod head has markings alongside the entire length of the base, and thus you can use it for panoramic photography or video panning. The mounting plate at the top is made from solid metal and is held in place by a vice style clamp system that is controlled by what we can call a thumb screw. On the surface of the mounting pad, there are textured rubber pads that will prevent the camera from being scratched, in addition to getting more grip onto the camera body and minimize its movement. Another feature to remember with this tripod head is the fact that it has not one but two bubble levels installed, one at the top right on the same plate that holds the mounting plate in place and the other one inside the thumb screw that secures the mounting plate. Removing the tripod head from the base is simple as you just unscrew it from the tripod. With the head gone, you gain access to the tripod head base where any standard tripod head will install with ease. However, this round base can be removed as well by just unscrewing it. When you do that, you will get the surprise that this tripod has included a thread adapter. You simply flip the double threaded insert inside the base and screw the base back into its position. This is not that common as often a lot of people are buying thread adapters through sliders and other types of tripod heads on their tripod bases. But not with this one though. The center column is held in place by the large adjustment nut. With it loosened, you can raise and lower the center column. Also, you can completely remove it if you needed to. At the bottom of the center column, you have the standard spring-loaded hook. This is used for two things, either you attach some weight onto the tripod and make it more stable, or attach your backpack and other things that should not sit on the ground. This spring-loaded hook can be easily removed by unscrewing it from the center column. With the hook removed and the adjustment nut fully loosened, the center column will slide upwards and out of the tripod base. You can then insert the column from the underside of the tripod for those close shots of the ground and macro shots as well. A neat thing is that the base of this tripod is solid metal and has a good space to attach wires and bags to. While a small thing for most, you will only notice and appreciate these things when you need them the most and don't have them. The tripod legs have three segments that can extend, the clips used for locking the legs and their height adjustment in place 
are simple, with a hard clamping force applied onto the carbon fiber legs. Unfortunately, these clamps are made from plastic and not metal. While it is a good quality plastic, metal would have been so much better, especially at this price point. The rubber pads that are making contact with the ground have two things going for them. First, they are made from solid rubber and sport a circular pattern. And second, if you rotate them, you will expose the metal spikes hidden in the center of the pads. These type of metal spikes are great for loose surfaces such as sand and even ice or snow. One of the tripod legs has a foam pad which sports the Sabrin logo carved into its surface. It's a subtle thing that works and adds more depth to the design of the tripod. The usage of a foam pad is nothing new and it does help when you carry and move the tripod around, especially if you are wearing clothes. Rotating the legs of the tripod is done by releasing the locking clips at the bottom of the legs. Afterwards, they can be rotated up and down with ease. Now that you know all the features of the tripod, it's time to learn if it's any good. And it's safe to say that it is actually really good. Thanks to its larger size, the TP-CF69 can handle even longer and heavier lenses. The tripod is also stable even on loose surfaces thanks to its metal spikes and rubber pads on the lower part of the legs. If there's one thing to complain here, well there's two. First, there is no leg that can be detached to be used as a standalone monopod. Instead, Sabrent recommends to detach the center column and use that as a monopod, which is not the best thing in the world. Second, the price. While not on the same level as the high-end tripods, this thing is not exactly cheap, at close to 170 US dollars. Fortunately, it is worth it and you won't feel cheated for your money when you start using it. If you want a tripod that is above the general tripods available on the market, then the TPCF69 will be a great choice if you want something that is on the same level as professional tripods from the likes of Manfrotto well you will have to pay and get one of those or something similar in price as the TPCF69 is not that this tripod is ideal for semi-professional usage and can handle the workload with ease thanks to its good build quality features and carbon fiber legs that will reduce the overall weight if you like this review then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of this channel.